welcome back. So today I have the holiday edition uh, 2018 collection from Natasha Denona. We have an eyeshadow palette, we have a mini palette, and we have these two chroma, duo chrome, what are these called? Chroma crystal top coats. So I wanted to show you guys some swatches. We do an eye look and yeah, just talk about the products. Now this retails for $129. There are 14 new shades, one additional pre-existing shade this is a gold lovers dream and I've been playing with it for I think two weeks now I really really love it I created this look today which is like a typical like golden look I didn't go in with lashes but you could definitely like vamp this up and add some lashes but yeah let's just go ahead and play with the palette if you've been interested to see it on the eyes and wanted to know what some of the shades swatch like and my thoughts on it then just go ahead and keep watching I know I did the Safari palette, this one, and I sort of did like a first impressions. That was the first time I used it. However, this palette I have used a bunch, and so I already know I love it. So this isn't a first impression because I've already used it. So I'm going to take this like really pretty mustard shade right here. It's called Dijon, which is the perfect name for it. So it does have this plastic overlay, which is kind of annoying, but if you want to know the names of the shades, I guess you can keep it on there, but it does have a perforated edge, so you can also rip it off if you just don't care anymore. So let's just go in with this, and this is a Morphe 5 M518 brush, and I'm just using that to diffuse this through the crease. These types of shades are my absolute favorite to use in the crease as a transition color because I love the way a mustardy color looks with golds. So that's the perfect transition color to include in an all gold palette. If you are a gold color person, you love wearing golds on your eyes, honestly I feel like this palette is a must have because it is a gold lover's dream and there's just so many different variations and shades of gold there's the more you know like yellow gold colors there's the more greenish gold there's the more bronzy gold there's like the duo chrome gold there's like a white gold shade and then another like kind of bronzy kind and then the typical like gold but not as yellow gold so it's just it's so beautiful and then they add in these like pops of teal which I think are super gorgeous and a nice touch because that color pairs super well with gold all right so you can continually build this shade up or you know really blow it out and diffuse it I love this shade because it blends super duper well and it layers really well to bring depth so every time I go back in I can see the crease is getting like being built up but again, it does diffuse really well. The color diffuses really well. Super pretty shade. Okay, there's a shade a little bit below that. It's a little bit more cool tone, less Dijon colored. I'm gonna tap a little bit into that just so I can show you how like all these browns, a lot of people's criticism if I've heard one at all, just throughout anyone commenting about this palette. I haven't, I think I've watched like maybe two people's videos where they've used it. And a lot of people are commenting, oh my gosh, they're, all those browns look very, very similar. They may look similar, but they're made to pair with each other to sort of build upon and build a look. If I were going to go in with this palette and do a full matte look, honestly, without using any of the golds, all of these shades are like such a really pretty variation that they just like that added depth to this look without as much warmth as the that Dijon shade had. Although they all look similar, they are different. And then there's like a lighter, more lighter transition than Dijon, but more cool tone. And then there's this like darker brown shade. And then this is a deeper step of that. So I can see how like this one and this one look very similar, but as you can see them swatched, they're different. And then this one and this one, so this is the four variation of the matte shades in this palette. And yes, let's just do a little 
swatch a Rooney on my hand so that we can see how they all are different. So it's not the same color. You're going to get a different look using each color. I'm going to take this deeper brown shade and I'm going to build that up right here in the outer corner. And this is just like a, it's a gorgeous cosmetics B11, 111 brush. This is a really, really pigmented shade. So I'm really just kind of placing it at first in the lower part of the crease because we are going to blend this. But I really just want to get the color down first and the depth and then we will diffuse that out. So I'm going back in with a little bit more on my brush. And then I'm going to take that brush that we used with the mustard color on it and I'm just going to use that to sort of diffuse and meld those colors together. I'm going to go in with this like classic shade over here. It's like a classic gold and I'm going to top it with this is like more of a sparkler shade. So we're going to use these two together. So it is Orum and Kava. So first I'm going to take my finger and go into that proper gold shade and just put that all over the lid. Okay, then I'm going to take this Kava shade and I'm going to wet it. This is kind of like a top coat, you know, pressed. And then we are going to try out those holiday. I'm going to show you the holiday top coats. I don't know if I'm going to use them in this video, but I, I do want to show them to you. They just don't go with this look, but we will swatch those in the end. This gives this like amps it up even more but I do like having that golden base under it this is like such a beautiful holiday eye like with a red lip I totally can see this is like a really pretty holiday eye okay then I am going to go back in with this deeper shade and mix it with the one underneath it I'm just going to put that through the crease Okay, maybe we'll go in with one of those top coats on the lower lash line. So I'm going to curl my lashes, do a little bit of like a winged liner, and then we'll put some mascara on and finish up the rest of my face and we will be back. Okay, I am back and I'm going to use this as a NARS liner in Rue Bonaparte. I really like using a nude in my waterline. Okay, and then in this holiday box, there was this mini palette. This is the mini star palette. And a lot of people have asked about these uh, chroma crystal top coats. So I wanted to show these really quick and maybe use one on the bottom lash line. So we have two shades here. The first one is the metal black. So really pretty for like holiday looks. It has like a sort of silvery gun metal finish to it. That would be cool for a cool tone look. And then this one is what I think we're going to use on our lower lash line today. And this is a metal bronze. This one is so beautiful. I've worn this all over my lid already. It's just this really pretty warm metalized rich bronze shade right there the black one has like silver glitters in it and the bronze one has golden glitters in it i'm going to just use this is a flat definer e15 from sigma and i'm just going to kind of dip and dig my brush a little bit into this product and i'm not quite sure if this is going to be the right way to apply it i'm going to put this right under the lower lash line. So I am noticing quite a bit of fallout, so I'm just gonna 
sweep that away. I don't know if this angled brush is the way to go just because it's like picking up almost like crumbles and then the crumbles are dropping. Okay, I'm going to take a little pencil brush and just kind of soften that out. That is just such a beautiful bronze shade. I love the definition that gives under the eye. Okay, I took that bronze down quite a bit and I like the way that looks. I'm going to go ahead and pop one of the shimmer shades in the for the inner corner this is the white golden shade and it's called sparks so i'm just gonna get this wet because it looks like a shade that just needs and i don't even know if maybe i should be using my finger for this i'm gonna tap right here in the inner corner Okay, that's not really distributing a lot of product, so I'm going to go in with, this is from Becca, this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in uh, Gold Lava. At first I didn't think this was going to be like a really good uh, highlight for me, but I have been using it on my skin. And we're just going to do, tap that over that a little bit and do a little golden highlight. And then do a little bottom lash mascara and then I... I I think I'm going to put false lashes on, but I wanted to show you guys the finished look without them. Just because I know there's a lot of people who watch my channel that don't wear false lashes. And if you don't want to feel like you have to wear them, I want you to be able to see that it's completely okay like not to pop on false lashes. I think in my everyday life, uh, I only wear them for occasions and filming. But, you know, I wouldn't just wear them like out and about. I'm actually going to vote today so I'll probably pull my lashes off if I go to vote. Okay for lips I'm going in this is from NYX and it's in nude suede shoes. Okay I'm going to go in with this is the Too Faced Peach Lipstick. I think I used this in my other tutorial. I like a really nude lip when I do like bronze and smoky eyes as well. But you could also pair this with a beautiful like rich cranberry for the holidays. That would be pretty as well. I'm going to go in with a little butter glass. This is from NYX. These are amazing. And this one is in creme brulee. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go lashless today. I haven't gone lashless in a tutorial and I just, I like the way it looks and I don't want to wear lashes today so I would just be putting them on and then peeling them off. So this is the finished look. Like I said, these shadows are so nice. If you love golden shades, I think you will love this palette. Let's go ahead and swatch a few of the shades that we didn't get to. This top shade right here is like this duochrome shade. It almost has like pink and gold in it it's so cool as you can see this shade is definitely one that is very unique and it just shifts so beautifully and then we have this shade right here which is like a really beautiful buttery satin teal shade which i cannot wait to do a look with that but since i did a green look with the safari palette I wanted to go more golden with this palette. And then we have that Sparks shade, which is more like a top coat. This one is something that needs to be pressed in. It's not really going to show up like good for a swatch, but when you press it in on top of some of these shades, it's gorgeous. Then we have this matte shade that we did already use and swatch in the palette right there. And then the shade that is a top coat on our lid is this last one it's like a golden one and this is like kind of like a golden top coat it's a little bit less chunky but i'm gonna put that one over here towards my knuckles i love that shade and it's so beautiful right here it's so beautiful as just a really nice top coat over so that is the first row Okay, then we have this row right here. This is a really beautiful shimmering sparkling teal, the mustard shade like we already used. This super duper yellow gold, beautiful 
matte chocolatey brown we did use that and then this is a gorgeous bronze shade that we didn't get a chance to use but i love that shade those are those shades right there so pretty i really want to use that chroma bronze and then put that bronze shade that i swatched this one all on top of that that would be a super beautiful look Okay, and then this last row, this shade is one I almost decided to use in this palette. Like, look at this. It's called Brass. It's so beautiful. This is a really pretty, nice transition color. This is a really nice bronzy gold. Another pretty color to layer. And then this gold that we have all over our lid. So there are all of those shades right there. So this palette is absolutely beautiful. If you've been thinking about it, I definitely think it is worth the investment. It's $129. I know that's a hefty price tag, but it is for sure such an amazing and beautiful palette. Okay, and I'm looking at the press sheet right here. This mini star palette says that it does have five of the most loved shades in the star palette in the new mini, and this is $25. So let's just quickly swatch. Oh, this has like a rich... This is nice. This is nice. This has like a really pretty duochrome shade and then it has like a really nice golden shade, a deep darkening brown. It has this beautiful rose gold shade and then a transition color. This is a really good deal for $25 if you're wanting to try some Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Uh, that's a really, really nice deal because you're getting really beautiful colors and a lot of different formulas in that mini palette and able to try them out and then that's like there's some really star shades in here huh, get it star hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this look thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all in the next video Mwah. okay i went and voted and i was looking in the car mirror and i'm like you know what i wonder if i should use that teal shade this one and just kind of like smoke this out and put some lashes on and see if we could do like day look and then go use this for going into like a night look I don't know, let's just see how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna dip into this teal shade. And I'm using a Sigma Small Taper Blending E45 brush. And I'm just going to pat that right here and blend. Oh, that's really pigmented and pretty. Here and do the same. This shade is really, really beautiful. Okay, I went ahead and popped this lipstick on. This is the Slim from YSL in number five, but you could use Max Rebel, very similar shade to this. And then I popped on these Kiss Lashes in Page Boy are the lashes. You can find those at the drugstore. And they just kind of like fluffy and fan out. So I was thinking when I looked at myself and I was like, I should do like a day with the gold palette to like night. How would you convert it to night? Because when I looked in the mirror, I was like, yeah, this is very day appropriate and I didn't want to wear lashes, but I thought if I add the green in, that is a little bit more nighttime look and I would essentially put on the lashes for that. So anyways, I thought this was a good idea, but still you can go lashless for any of this. But if you do want to try like a really nice natural lash, these Page Boy lashes, I just cut a little bit like this much for my eye shape. You just cut a little bit off of the end because they are rather long. You can always trim up your lashes and customize them and that's what I always do. And then I save the little pieces that I cut off because sometimes I just want like a little individual flares. And if you end up saving those little pieces, then you can just kind of arrange them and have like little wispies on the outer corners. So yeah, so went and voted and then when I was on the way home, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna add that in the end. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing the double looks with the gold palette. And thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye for real now.